Hey folks, Cornell with YouTube Fish and Vids. I'm up here in the mountains of Maryland, but this is a little different spot for me. I'm in the shadows of these gorgeous mountains of the Greenbrier State Park. There's an itty bitty lake in this park that I have not fished in in years. I was probably a young teenager was the last time I was out here trying this lake out and probably just from the shoreline. It's the first time the Pelican's ever been out on it, and it's definitely the first time a Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box has been broken out on it, at least for me. It's, uh, it's a really quiet lake right now. This is the kind of park that gets crazy busy, gets tons of pressure for this itty little bitty body of water. Water. It's stocked with trout. It's got tons of bass in it. Uh, but I've only got two other guys out here fishing on boats. There's a few people on the shorelines most likely fishing for trout. But I got the Mystery Tackle Box Pro Box out. So I'm going to go try and snag some bass out of this itty bitty little reservoir and see what I can come up with. So let's see what we got in here. We've got a Japanese bait, a Lucky John, an itty bitty little finesse lipless crank. So we're going to throw that out there, real natural pattern. The weather conditions are great. It's beautiful out here. It's almost 50 degrees. The water temperatures are pretty high for right now. I didn't think it would be this uh, warm, but I've got 48, 49 degree water temperature in late February up here in the mountains. So a few days of warm up doesn't take long for that water temperature to get right. So we're going to be throwing next a Venom Lures. So uh, the Venom Lures is a Mad Tom. It's kind of like a Ven Rig, they call it. Check that out. Little mushroom head and a little itty bitty creature bait and kind of a smoke color with a purple fleck. So we're going to go ahead and Put that out there and that's probably going to be one of the baits that do some damage today i hope guys i'm going to tell you right now i'm going to fish the most likely baits that'll catch me fish if i don't get to all these baits you're seeing them but there's a place and a time for any and all of these baits so we're going to see what i can do with what time i've got which is about three hours so check this out next one out of the box the bio spawn that's the exo stick pro really natural pattern that's their uh, concept of a stick bait little ridges on it just a really really neat idea for a stick bait and a really ultra natural pattern with this lake being super clear that could be a good soft plastic to play with let's see what else we got exo stick comes with a couple little terminal tackle ideas when it comes to rigging check that out we've got a 2 watt wacky rig and drop shot hook and we got that cool carl stash power spinners to jazz it up give it a little more flash a little more vibration and the option to work that exo stick out with a wacky rig or drop shot or shaky head you know i could work that out in so many different ways it's just a real versatile soft plastic so i'll put it all together i'll see what this lake wants and what these bass in this lake want and go from there but check this out guys this is a bait that i actually own i have a few of these these are great for cold water that's a real tight wiggling bad shad by berkeley so there's an itty bitty little number five size so that's going to be an awesome bait to get some of the suspended fish and some of those fish that might we want to chase today so we got that going on another bait that's going to be pulled through the water column it's a quarter ounce it's a pretty light one quarter ounce zorro mouse head swim jig so i've got a swim jig in the box which is awesome and then the last bait in this box pretty chunky looking uh, football jig a full one ounce i think the water i think the deepest water i found in here was about 30 feet so if there's anything that deep that football jig and one ounce will go down and get them that's pj's finesse baits certainly not very finesse at a one ounce but that's what we got guys so we've got a handful of baits to play with i'm going to start rigging up playing with the bad shad first and definitely throwing a shaky head with that little exo stick and this uh this mad tom ven rig that should be interesting to throw so let's get at it let's start fishing greenbrier state park's little lake Okay, there it is. There's the bad shad. The bad shad is tied on. That's the first bait I'm going to throw. I see suspended fish. I know some of these suspended fish are trout too, and they'll eat the heck out of a little bad shad like that. There's guys out here trolling, probably little spoons and things like that for the trout, but the bass are in here too. So we're going to throw up uh, not super deep. I'm actually in about 10 feet of water, and I'm seeing fish suspended down anywhere from six to eight feet, and this bait goes down uh, on average about four to six feet. So that's the perfect little crankbait with a super tight wiggle for this cooler water. And again, yeah, the water temperature is actually a little bit cooler right now. It's about 47 degrees. So let's get at it. Don't have a lot of time. Hopefully I'll get through all the baits, but hopefully I'll be throwing the baits that the bass want. Six pound test fluorocarbon. That's all this is for these itty bitty finesse crankbaits. So these tight wiggling little finesse crankbaits in the wintertime with this light, light line calls for a light setup. This is a medium light action drop shot special by lose it's my drop shot rod i throw it for ned rigs and throw it for these lightweight crankbaits it's a perfect perfect setup for these itty bitty little cranks so we can get these cold water bass going the sun is just starting to break out a little bit so with a little tiny bit of warming and this little bit of breeze it's blowing a little water in this back pocket so i'm fishing this back pocket there's deeper water out by the dam but i've marked fish out here and i'm actually seeing some surface activity i figure some of the trout they've stocked in here back in january are coming to the surface and and feeding so i see some trout activity i see some fish on the depth finder which are most likely a little bit of both bass and trout and i'm just going to beat up some banks right now and fish over some of these drop-offs for some of these suspended fish hey how you doing what's that who's that does he really all right 
all all the way over there to take my license, huh? Jeez. Maybe I'll troll back. Hey, I'll travel, troll back over there. Well, check this out. We've got our DNR out here. I'm way out on the other side of the lake, but he's asking uh, me, another gentleman fishing, is asking me to go out there and ride all the way back to uh, get my fishing license check, which I'm happy to do. I'm going to take this bad shad and troll it the whole way back, though. There you go, buddy. And no trout for me on bass fishing today. I don't think I'm going to do any trout fishing this year. It'll be all about the bass. Good luck. Thanks, see, brother. You got your best. Yeah, I got everything I should need. I appreciate you being out here, bud. No problem. You good good seeing you. Right? You too. See you. All right, there's another little gentle encounter with our wonderful DNR, making sure our resources are protected, making sure we're doing what we're supposed to be doing from life jackets to throw cushions to your fishing license. Make sure you have it, folks. Don't get out there messing around on the waters that we love to fish without your responsibilities managed. All right, so the way in to get my license checked by the DNR officer, I was trolling that bad shad back in, but now I've got this little itty bitty Vicara lipless crank I'm gonna throw also. I just talked to a gentleman who's fishing for trout. He's trolling itty bitty little tiny crankbaits. So these small itty bitty little bad shads and these Vicara little lipless cranks could be a really good option for the trout. I'm really going for bass, but I'll take anything that bites at this point. Trout would be a just nice little special treat because there's just not too many bodies of water that have trout in our area. So let's go ahead and throw a, the bad shad and this Vicara around through some of these suspended fish and see how we do. All right, I'm back over the area where I saw some suspended fish and throwing the Vicara on my loose another custom speed stick this is another lose rod of mine this is actually a six foot seven medium uh, power moderate fast it's like a little crankbait rod it's perfect for these little crankbaits with 12 pound test fluorocarbon and a little uh, LFS speed spool deal and this thing's got a tight tight wiggle I can feel it in the rod tip real slow retrieve a little stop and go and hopefully we'll pick up something that wants to get a really tight wiggle and itty bitty little lipless crank. Oh, my man right on the bank just caught himself a nice trout off the bank. That's very cool. Right in front of the game warden too. That's great. Hope he has his license. Wow, we got another guy over here caught a trout. That's like within 30 seconds, two guys are catching trout right off the shoreline. I might have to move up a little closer uh, to the banks and see if some of those fish on the shoreline are ready to bite some of these little bass mystery tackle box lures. That'd be really fun to catch a couple trout out here. Got a little nippy out here with that wind chill, so I had to go ahead and throw this heavier jacket on. I'm still working this little uh, little John itty bitty little lipless crank. This thing's got the tightest little wiggle I think I've ever seen on a little crank, lipless crank. And uh, I'm on the dam side now, so I'm over some deeper water, throwing up into some shallow uh, water. So I'm fishing over the, dro the drop offs and hopefully getting some of these suspended bass uh, that are hanging out. But if that's not going to happen, at least I've got some uh, finesse soft plastics to fall back on that Biospawn Exo Stick and that Venom Baits little uh, Ned Rig style itty bitty creature baits. So we're going to throw those here shortly, see if we can pick up at least a finesse bass and work our way through some baits. Can't promise I'm going to fish them all, but I'm going to do my best with the time that I've got and hopefully pick up something on a chilly but not so cold winter's day here in Maryland. This lake is like one big bowl. There's really not much obvious structure when it comes to points and things like that. It's just big one big hole. So I'm not looking at any points. There's maybe a couple over by the boat ramp, but it's so shallow up there. I mean, it's like two feet in that little pocket back there everywhere. So I'm just fishing all these little drops. And like I said, these uh, fish are suspended with a few fish hanging on the bottom off the drop. So there's a little bit of everything going on out here. We just have to work our angles. And this mystery tackle box has every angle covered when it comes to the style of baits. I just got to find a fish that's willing to eat one of them. All right, there's some deeper cover over here. I see some heavy logs and some brush and things like this down about six to eight feet. I'm going to break out that Zorro swim jig and see if I can creep that across the uh, cover down there, see if anything wants to come up and eat it. I've jazzed it up with a uh, just a simple little curly tail grub. It uh, actually was white, but I had it mixed in with some of my chartreuse. So it's a real, barely a pale chartreuse little trailer. Uh, this water's fairly clear, but I've got cloudy skies. That little bit of extra color is going to give me a little, little something to work with. So this is a this is a far casting quarter ounce little swim jig. So I'm just going to slowly, slowly crawl this over the cover, and see if something wants to come up in this swim jig in this colder water. And a swim jig like this is really easy to fish. Seven foot, medium power, fast action, bait casting rod with 12 pound test fluorocarbon and you're good to go. Just match it up with your favorite trailer, whether it be a swim bait, curly tail grub like I have, twin tail grub, all kinds of options for swim jigs. But this is colder water so I went for that single tail curly tail grub and we'll get as much subtle action as I can out of it. Hopefully catch one. 
Hopefully that's a good look at how great that curly tail grub moves in the water with that swim jig. Just gives off really, really great action. Just enough of a little thump in the water with a little bit of movement to get the bass's attention in this colder water. Okay, I put a good effort out here on this more windy side of the lake. I'm gonna get over here on the back side where I've got a little protection from the wind and play with some soft plastics on the bottom. See if I can control this little pelican and throw that little exo stick and that little venom baits, Ned Rig, little creature bait combo and, and see if we can come up with something, so stay tuned. Okay, so I found my way over to this really calm little pocket right over here by the dam. I've got about 20 feet of water and a nice drop off, some big old boulders in the water and stumps and some fallen trees so we've got some cover over here to play with that little venom bait mad tom deal so that itty bitty little ned rig concept that ven rig they call it and uh itty bitty little tiny soft plastic so this is probably going to be the one bait that gets me at least something a day along with this uh i went ahead and took that biospawn exo stick deal and i set that up on a shaky head so i've got that on a shaky head 3 16 ounce ready to roll with 10 pound test fluorocarbon leader on another medium action spinning rod. So I've got all kinds of reasons to catch something. Let's just see if it happens. With limited time and tricky, challenging new bodies of water, it's a heck of a challenge, but I'm up for it. So let's get casting on some soft plastics. extra extra tough fishing out here folks when i can't get a bite on a itty bitty ned riggish type deal like that venom lures uh mad tom special you know it's a tough day typical february fishing mid-atlantic maryland that's all right we're still fishing that's all that counts so here we go this is the bio spawn that's the exo stick in that uh feeder shad color so i've got that all rigged up on a shaky head just a 3 16 ounce shaky head on my seven foot one medium power extra fast action spinning rod with eight pound test fluorocarbon leader and 12 pound test braid i'm going to throw it around some of these same fish maybe they just want something a little different so i'm going to throw this out there see if we can get something on this bottom bait and then keep on working through these baits and see if something wants to eat just like that itty bitty little mad tom special that little ned riggish type of bait i wasn't giving it much action at all and that's all i'm going to do with this shaky head it's going to be sitting on the bottom sitting in place just a couple little ticks of the rod tip just to move it in place in a slow drag that's all you want to do this time of year if there's any chance you're going to catch something that's the kind of action you're going to want to put on your bait so what do we have here i got a little weight to this let's see what's going on oh we got some old old grass down there that's good so if i have some old grass on that drop off that's a good thing there might be some fish hovering near that still kind of green so let's keep that shake head right where i know the fish are and just see if one of those cold winter bass want to eat so with this being such a small little lake i am covering a lot of water i'm fishing for every fish that i can see from the suspended fish the fish on the bottom i'm throwing the shaky head the ned rig concept that i've got here the bad shad that great little lipless crank and one bait that i'm going to maybe throw out here if i can see some fish that deep is this pj's uh, finesse baits one ounce football jig look at this thing guys that's a finessey little skirt on it with a big old head and some big old red eyes look at that little uh trailer i put on it that's actually a uh that's actually just a little single tailed grub concept it's not a curly tailed grub it's a uh, man's stingray grub a classic man's stingray grub it's really subtle i actually split the tail so i got a really cool finesse heavy heavy duty football jig that's just ultra heavy i've got it on my medium heavy uh seven foot two bait casting rod i got 15 pound test braid i don't know if i'm even going to throw this thing it's such a tough day i'm probably going to stick with these finesse baits but we'll see what we can do that's the other bait out of the mystery tackle box that i haven't thrown yet and uh may or may not throw we'll just stick with uh what i know and what i hope will catch some fish and go from there the top choice for me out of this box for a day like today is definitely this bad shad definitely that little john itty bitty little uh oh, i got some grass that itty bitty little uh lucky john lipless crank definitely the venom lures mad tom special that finesse little ned rig deal and the shaky head those are those are the baits that i really if i just threw those exclusively today i'd probably pick something up if i had enough time but uh again it's it's one of those days guys it's always tough fishing this time of year it's always worth getting out it's way better than sitting on the couch and uh we're just going to see what we can come up with i've got about an hour and a half left before the sun and before these dnr guys kick me out because this lake looks like it might have a little more of a strict policy when it comes to when we're supposed to get out of here 550 on the sign 550 i gotta leave so we're gonna go ahead and keep fishing until it's time to roll 
So I just got a tap on my bad shad here. It wasn't a bad little bite. Could have been easily been a trout, but I'm happy to catch a trout if I get one. So I'm gonna, I think what I'm gonna do for the rest of the night, I'm gonna go ahead and throw these moving baits. I think I'm gonna throw this bad shad and I'm gonna throw that little Lucky John itty bitty little lipless crank through some of these suspended fish. I've seen a handful of fish on the bottom, but if I see fish on the bottom, I throw in something as dainty and tiny as that little uh, Venom Lures uh, Mad Tom Ned Rig concept, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. So I'm gonna throw these moving baits and see if I can at least pick up a trout or something. That would be cool. But uh, we've got so little time, I think just covering as much water as I can right now is gonna be ideal. So Bad Shad and Lucky John, that's gonna be the trick. Guys, I got my first fish. <laughs> if I can keep it in the boat, I got myself a trout. I can't believe it. The skunk is out of the boat, guys, and I got it on the little John. Take a look at this beautiful fish. Let me do this right. Let me get my hands down in the water because these fish are sensitive. But look at that beautiful rainbow trout out here on Greenbrier State Park on a little John lipless crank. Can you believe it? I actually got myself a fish on my mystery tackle box guys there it is wet hands and i'm going to throw it back quick because i don't want it to hurt it and i don't have a trout stamp so there it goes that is awesome i knew i'd probably catch one of those trout they've just been bubbling up on the surface just popping us or showing themselves guys catching them on the bank so the skunk is out of the boat i got myself a fish and i'm going to keep on fishing i knew one of those baits would get it so i'm just so happy i even got a fish so i'm going to keep fishing just stay tuned the sun is really bright now it's right in my face and i'm going to keep on rolling I can't say enough about that Little John deal. I mean, these conditions just changed within a couple seconds. The sun came out like that, and I decided to start throwing that with that little bit of luster on the sides, that little flash it was doing. It was bound to happen. Those trout couldn't resist. It's a small little bait. The bass will crush it too, but again, just to get the skunk out of the boat, I'm so darn happy I can't even stand it. So let's keep throwing it out here. I'm out in the middle of the lake, man. I am just way out here, 18 feet of water, just in the middle of nowhere. But these fish are just roaming, suspended like I thought. So I'm going to keep on throwing this Little John, see if I can pick up maybe another trout or two and hopefully I'll get a bass but again the skunk is out of the boat with the exception of one gentleman that was out here bass fishing every single person on this lake today is fishing for these trout and they are jumping everywhere they're bubbling up on the surface showing themselves there's a lot of trout in this lake they stock it pretty regular so uh, no surprise that I caught that trout but yeah, the bass is, uh, bass is struggling today. They're not wanting to eat, but I'm slowly working my way back towards the ramp. Again, this uh, this park closes at 5.50, and it's probably about 5.15, 5.20 right now. I'm real close to the ramp, but I don't know how strict they are when it comes to uh, you being actually out of here by 5.50. So I'm going to work my way back towards this ramp, cast a few more times, and then I'm going to call it a night. Well, if you can see that... Uh, that park vehicle in the background way over there kind of cruising around it's probably about time to go i figured this is uh the kind of park that if they say 550 they mean 550 so folks i'm going to wrap it up i'm going to go ahead and put this uh beautiful little lucky john lip looks crankbait up and i'm going to thank my lucky stars that i ended up not getting skunk today thanks to that aggressive little hungry trout that wanted to eat a bait out of my mystery tackle box from this month so folks uh remember be sure to go visit mysterytacklebox.com Treat yourself to a subscription. Use my code YTFE, short for YouTube Fishing Vids, and get yourself $10 off your first box of your new subscription. As always, I appreciate you joining me. As always, I appreciate you subscribing. And until we meet again, over and out.